Dear Earth, I, like many other keen tourists, find traveling problematic. We love visiting amazing places around the globe, but how do we travel sustainably? We contribute to climate change by using various means of transportation to get to the destinations, leaving behind pollution and using huge amounts of water. Is our selfish apathy compelling the next generations to make right our crimes? We artists who travel and paint have an additional problem. I am ashamed to admit that I realized only recently that the metals and chemicals which make up the acrylic pigments, as well as the unsafe disposal of paint particles going into the wastewater systems, make for a very eco-unfriendly medium. As a landscape painter, I always thought that my representation of the scene was naturalistic and truthful, but was it? In 2019, I visited the Galapagos, a thousand kilometers away in the Pacific Ocean from the South American coast. On the first excursion, we hopped on a small boat, looking forward to a snorkeling adventure. From a distance, the shore looked like a pristine paradise. But as we got closer, we could see that the currents had left a stream of plastic debris on the shoreline in front of the volcanic rocks. We collected some of the rubbish and then started to snorkel. The water seemed murky, but we soon realized that the cloudiness was caused by tiny particles of plastic floating around like snowflakes. Many fish of all sizes were feasting on these flakes, and a sea turtle was munching on the shreds of a plastic bag which looked like a jellyfish. It was a scene which was heartbreaking disturbing and unforgettable. Later, I painted several versions of the Galapagos beach with acrylics using eco-friendly methods this time, like Golden's crash system, but knew that the beautiful scene concealed an ugly underbelly. With regret, respect, and hope for the future, Mary Akemi Morris.